morning welcome to a brand new vlog welcome to a brand new day it has been a hot minute since i have said all of that and i'm about to tell you and show you where i've been because i have been posting but i haven't filmed a vlog since like may and it is is it july 10th i think it's july 10th today which is so depressing the summer is like slipping by and i hate to even say that because i hate when people like rush away my life but i just feel like Time's flying and uh, where's it going? I look crazy, we're gonna get here. Oh, such a good cup of coffee. Ah, uh, my husband, I woke up, Mike was like, I don't smell coffee, which is okay because he doesn't have to make me coffee every day. But then I got closer and I smelled it more. I feel like I'm a little hungover, but we're gonna talk about that because I really haven't been drinking. I've been on a whole health journey. I had two glasses of wine last night and I feel hungover today, which I think is a good indication of how little I've been drinking recently. So in today's vlog, I thought we'd just hang out for the day. Again, I've been kind of just like taking better care of myself, moving my body more, eating healthier. And I thought I would share what I eat in a day, what I've been doing on like this health journey. I have noticed a significant difference in the way that I look, but it's really not for that. I've kind of touched upon it here and there in my videos, but in the past when I've gone through hard times, I've decided to neglect myself. Whereas ever since losing my dad in January, I decided to take a different path this, path this time. I can't talk, we all know this. Choose me rather than neglect me. And I've said this in a short video that I did in collaboration with Yensa. If you missed it, I'll link it up here because it was really cute and I really enjoyed filming it. When I lost my grandfather in 2016, Poppy, I was very close with him and it deeply affected me. I feel like when people die and you're close with them, it's like you kind of lose someone on your roster. You have people in your life that love you unconditionally and I don't know. I mean, I feel like most people can say that they love you, but like how many people genuinely love you unconditionally? When you lose someone who you have that unconditional love from and for, it like really takes a toll because you really miss that person and you also really miss that love and support that you once got from that person. But so I decided that when losing someone and losing that love here on earth, I'm gonna give that love back to myself. And I don't know, I find that really comforting and that's what I've been doing for myself for the last um, month and a half. I've been really committed to like eating healthy, moving my body and just loving me and doing things that make me happy and just trying to evolve into a better version of me. And I don't want this to sound preachy because I think we all need different things in life and this is what's working for me. So I'm just here to share because it's my channel and I've noticed a big difference in my mental health, but also my physical health as an added benefit. So, okay, anyway, beauty things I've been doing lately. I bought this, this is crooked. So I don't know if you can see, but there's like a seam here. It should be this way, but I'm gonna show, this is what it looks like when I wake up because we keep it real here. So it should really look like this. This is how it looks when I go to bed and then tossing and turning. I'm a big tosser turner when I sleep, it moves. But this is a satin bonnet from Kish. So back here, you could see it's like saggy back here. This is where all my hair is. I'm gonna take it off to show you what my hair looks like in the morning when I wake up. But I've been going to bed and sleeping with this for the last, I don't know, like two weeks. And I've noticed such a big difference with my hair. I wanna say it's like 10, $11 at Ulta, but we'll come back to this later and I'll show you how I wrap my hair. But in the morning I wake up, I get my coffee, I sit here and I just, unleash the hair and I twirl it at night, which again, I'll show you, but so it's still in those two sections. And then I kind of just go like this and I'm not gonna brush it out now because I am gonna work out, but you can see it, the curls are there. This is day four hair. I washed my hair on Wednesday. It is now Sunday. Um, and it just makes it look less messy. And on the inside, it has satin in it so that this is meant for when you're rolling and tossing and turning, you know, your hair doesn't snag on anything and pull. Like, you know, like a lot of the damage from your hair up here is not only from heat, but from rolling around in the bed and your hair getting stuck on cotton and breaking. So it prevents hair breakage. It keeps my hairstyle for days. Like I said, this is day four and I could go another day, but I'm gonna wash it and I'm gonna show you how I've been doing my heatless curls. Just because it's a day of beauty, it's Sunday. 
I'm gonna just hang out at home. I am gonna go visit my mom though. And I actually might go to the mall. So we actually might go do some shopping, but Mike and I are gonna go for a walk. We've been going for walks every single day, or at least the days that I don't have to go to work because when I go to work, I walk, you know this soon from the office. We go for a 45 minute walk. It's a 2.2 mile walk um, just to get outside. And I've noticed honestly that getting outside in the morning and just letting the sun or the breeze hit me is just so good for my mental health. I don't know. And like, it is so annoying because I go online and I read these things and you know, you read things and you follow like inspirational social media outlets and people say these things. I'm just like, Psh, that's so like honky dory, but this shit actually works because I've been doing some of this shit for the last like month and a half. I wanted to show you that I'm rearranging my room and as sad as it is, I rearranged my room for threads. And if you don't know what threads is, it is like the new Twitter that Instagram created and I am here for it. I feel like it's 2013 and I am here for it. It is nostalgic. I am posting about anything and anything. No one is reading any of my shit and I just feel like it's my own little private space on the internet where I could be weird and talk about my hair bonnets and how much I love pasta and my cat. So if you don't follow me, you can follow me on there. Um, let's talk about beauty and makeup and like things that we love, but also like I'm really into the OOTDs. And I mainly joined threads for the resurrection of OOTDs. And because of that, this is what I did. Here's my room. You guys know I have this rack. I keep telling you I'm going to rearrange the back of me so that when I sit here every time and talk to you, it'll look cute. Well, we're getting there because I had a mirror there. You could see I'm measuring things because I'm trying to figure out what to buy here. I'm thinking like a bookshelf to put shoes or handbags or a mix of things on there just because like things are getting a little out of hand. Things are getting a little out of hand or a little messy, but it's okay. We're getting organized. I moved my mirror here because the lighting coming from the window, you can see your outfit so much better here. Hello, I think these are from Tarjay. Mike bought me these pajamas. I posted them on threads the other day because I love them. Well, I was sitting posting about my bonnet and someone commented that she had the same pajamas and these are so soft, so comfy. Love them for the summer but I'm gonna work on organizing, but I moved my mirror here. I'm hoping to get rid of this stupid cart, no offense to the stupid cart, cause I just hate it, by getting some shelves here that my lovely husband is gonna have to put together. So she's coming along, you know, I did clean. She's still a mess, but Mike said she looks more open when you walk in because there's nothing here, but <laughs> something's gonna be here soon. I threw on some workout clothes. I'll show you in a second. I don't have cute workout clothes, honestly. Like I sweat like a beast. And while new workout clothes make me feel really cute and great, like I sweat so much that I just can't fathom spending prices on workout clothes that, you know, workout clothes currently cost. Like, I don't know, $75 for a sports bra? I don't know. I'm sure I could find cheaper things, but my God. Anyway, so like I said, I didn't brush my hair and I normally don't brush my hair until after I'm done working out because in my brain, and again, I don't know if this makes sense. I would love to have a conversation about this because I am in my hair era. I normally don't do my hair. Y'all know this, okay? I don't brush it through because I think I'm going for a walk and it's gonna bounce. And I think like if I brush it out and then it bounces, it's gonna fall flat quicker. Or like if I'm working out and I'm squatting, that looked weird, um, it's gonna fall out. So I just, I don't brush my hair until after, but what I do is I kind of like pull it out of my face like this. I pull it like a pony and then I go like this. So it's like, I don't know, like a, a loopy, a loop de doop And I do that, I don't know. I just feel like I'm not, twisting and maneuvering the curls in any way. So I'm not like reshaping them. Does that make sense? I'm kind of just letting them fall. And I look a little crazy, but that's okay. I haven't even been wiping off the skincare from the night before. I'm just keeping it real. I just have been taking my Maraud SPF. I'm putting sunscreen on because you know, it's so uncomfortable. I really like this sunscreen. It's really lightweight. I love it. But like, you know, we can't deny that I think sunscreen makes you hotter. Like when you're hot, the sunscreen just makes you uncomfortable, but we really need it. So, you know, I don't know. I just feel like I've been doing a good job taking care of my skin. I've been using dark spot remover from Lily Henriksen, that toner. And I've noticed such a big difference in my skin. Like my skin looks really good. And I think it's because I do put sunscreen on. I take decent care of my skin. And honestly, I say this all the time. In my opinion, less is more with skincare. And I think when you find something that works for you, don't change it too often. Cause at least if you are someone that has sensitive skin like me, 
My skin does not like that. If you don't like sunscreen, this is annoying because everyone in my life gets really annoyed that I ask them 30,000 times if they're wearing sunscreen, but I just feel like it's so important. I don't want not only dark spots and wrinkles, but I don't want skin cancer either. I just lost my dad to cancer, not skin cancer, but I don't need to raise my chances anymore than they need to be. I put it on my hands as like a hand cream. I want someone to come out with a hand cream with SPF in it. I love this thing. Oh my God, top three. Mike asked me last night because I always have been saying that my portable fan and my hair bonnet are my top three. And he asked me what, what's the top one or what's the other one in the top three? And it's this fanny pack. I bought this Lululemon fanny pack that literally everyone and their mother has. And I love it. I have a pocket here for my phone, but I don't know. Like, it's just not comfortable. I feel like I'm walking and it's like, it feels uneven. Like this side is like drooping. I don't know. I call it my love sack because I love it so much and it makes Michael uncomfortable when I call it my love sack. <laughs> so I will continue to call it that. It zips and the zippers are really nice. It's got pockets in here. I have my SPF. Sorry, my face isn't in this. I have my SPF 30 chapstick because, you know, very importante. So I have that in here. I just leave it in here because I bought a pack of like four of these and I keep them in all of my bags. And then I throw my phone. I took this bag out last night. Oh, Tilly, I love her. I forgot how much I love her, but we went out last night. I took her. Oh wait, no, but I took my actual size wallet. I don't know where my baby wallet is. Anyway, whatever, I'll get it together. But I have a smaller wallet that I throw in here. Here she is. Here she is. There's a zipper in the back. So I throw her in the back. And voila, I'm ready to walk. Here's my fan that you guys have seen. So this, and sometimes I bring this. Maybe I'll bring it today. So this, this, and my bonnet so far top three purchases of protein shake that I have been making every single day. Basically, I enter all the things that I eat for breakfast, lunch, dinner, everything. My coffee, my snacks, my everything. And I'm not really calorie counting, but I'm just making sure that my macros are right. If you don't know what macros are, it's basically the fat, the carbs, and the protein in your diet. So I try to keep them in a certain percentile. I think it's 30% fat, 50% carbs, and 20% protein. I do try and get more protein in and I'm trying to eat less fat because the first few days when I started tracking, I was just tracking whatever I was eating to see what my everyday diet looked like and I was eating so much fat and so little protein. So I've been trying to get in extra protein to cut back on my fat so that my macros again are in that percentage. So I have a protein shake every single day and I do kind of switch it up, but it's usually almond milk, coffee, protein and then some kind of frozen fruit to just up my carbs. I have a cup and I measure everything and I know it's annoying and I bet you're probably cursing me right now, but this is just what works for me. So do whatever works for you. But I take a half a cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, ShopRite brand. And whatever coffee I don't finish throughout the week because Mike makes me coffee every morning, he makes me eight cups. So I normally have a cup at home and then the other cup I was just dumping in the sink but I stopped doing that and I started saving it for my protein shakes. So I'll put a little bit of coffee, protein of choice, organic protein. It has 21 grams of plant-based protein, 15 grams of carbs. I don't know. I just, I like this one. I like how it tastes. I'm really picky with protein because I don't really like protein. And I do two scoops because that is one serving. I'm going to use strawberries today. I really like mangoes, pineapples, so I buy frozen. Okay, I buy the frozen ones from ShopRite. Mango, pineapple, blueberry, strawberry. Probably my favorite ingredients for a shake, but I use this little scale. I put this on top and I literally measure half a cup 
of a serving just because again I'm entering everything into my phone so measuring things it's more accurate and can give me a better idea on what I need to eat more of and less of throughout the day. This is seemingly the only way that I can consistently take the Halo Beauty pills. These are Tati Westbrook's um, Beauty from the Inside Out. It's supposed to help with hair, skin, nails. It's kind of like those Biotin pills, except I just, they're like horse pills and they taste disgusting. But what I do is I take two of them and I've been consistent and I feel like my skin looks brighter. I don't know, I asked Mike last night if my skin looks any different. He said, no, I feel like it's making a little bit of a difference and I'm 30 days in, but I break them apart like this and I put the powder in my protein shake. And I don't know, this is just what's been working for me. I throw it in and I don't even have to think about it. One, two, three, easy. I like to have this right after my workout. Apparently you're supposed to have protein and carbs right after your workout to help, <coughs> excuse me, to help your muscles recover. So cheers, cheers, cheers. Also, I had a protein cookie that Mike made. I told you I was gonna show you what I eat in a day and I did a terrible job because I had two cups of coffee. They don't look great, but they're, they taste like peanut butter. They're like peanut butter cookies, protein cookies. I think they're four ingredients. I think that's what Mike said. He made them, they're delicious. These cookies are 150 calories for one, which is a decent amount of calories, but it has 21 grams of protein, eight grams of fat, five grams of carbs. So I've had about 42 grams of protein today so far. It is noon and that personally is not bad for me. I think I'm gonna buy a new Apple watch. I don't know. I want the one with the gold band. And I told myself if I was consistent with this kind of lifestyle I'm working out, I would reward myself with a new watch. So I think today might be the day. I'm feeling very proud of myself lately, really. I'm inspiring myself, which sounds really corny, but I don't know. I just, I feel good about the decisions that I've made and I'm proud of me. And sometimes you need to be proud of yourself and sometimes you need to say it out loud. I just took my hair out of the clip. I am gonna wash my hair, but I'm just gonna show you how I would go about judging this if I wasn't washing it. Does that make sense? So I still haven't brushed my hair since taking it out of my hair bonnet this morning. I love this brush, wet brush, but it's like a wet comb. Our luggage got lost, not lost, but it was like held hostage. If you watch my Napa vlog at the end of it, you know the whole thing. Mike went to ShopRite to go get some food after we landed and I asked him to get me a wet brush. I actually meant the brush, but he found this and bought me this. And in the moment, I never said anything to him because it was so nice of him to just get it for me. I was mad because I wanted a brush, not a comb, but holy hell, I love this. So I take my hair, gently comb. You don't want to start at the top of your hair. You're going to end up ripping your hair out. So I start at the bottom and get all of the knots out. And because this is four day old hair, my curls are a little bit more gone than usual, but it looks so nice, right? And then I do the same thing on the other side. Sometimes it gets really like flat here just because of the way it sits on my head. So I will zhuzh the front up with a flat iron to just kind of straighten the front and kind of give it a little bit of like faux volume. It looks pretty though. I mean, honestly, I could get away with this being my hair today. I really don't even need to wash it. And honestly, I think it's because of the bonnet. I am gonna wash it so that I can show you how I do my heatless curls. And also because I have work the next two days and like mama doesn't like to wash her hair when she goes to work because it is a time commitment. I'm in a really good spot with all of my hair tools. Seriously, um, I will link everything down below. Just got out of the shower and my hair is wet. I did not brush it and I'm not going to brush it until it's for the most part dry. Bath towel, this is just my regular towel and I'm just gonna gently, I'm not wringing, I'm just gently taking any of the excess water out of my hair. This way, the hair towel that I'm about to use and it's gonna sit in, my hair's gonna sit in for the next little bit. It kind of like speeds up the process. I found these on Amazon and I think you get three of these for the price of one Aquis. These are Hickabur, Hickabur, I don't know. I will link it down below. So soft and I find that these dry my hair quicker than the Aquis towels. So here's what I do. This is what it looks like. You got one end with a button and one end with a little stretchy hook. So I take the button on my hair like this in the front of my head. And then I don't know how I'm gonna show you this, to be honest. Take this and I wrap it. And I usually do it in the back. So I'm gonna try and show you in the front. So I basically wrap my hair in it. So I make sure that the ends are in it, right? I'll show you, I guess I'll turn around. I hope you can hear me. And I twist it. This is hard to do, but you saw. I basically twist it, make sure the ends are in it. 
I hook it in the front, but I do make sure that it's not too tight on my head because if it pulls my hairline back too far, that's when you get traction alopecia, which is when you change your hairline so that it's pulled back and it looks like you're balding. So this is it. I'm gonna let my hair sit in this for as long as humanly possible. You take your ears out normally what I do because it alleviates the pressure on top of my head. I usually do this on Wednesdays because Wednesdays I work from home so I wake up early, I work out, I shower, I throw my hair in this and I will leave it in this little turban for two hours, three hours and then I do the heatless curls which I'm going to show you and then I leave that in for another two, three hours but today, today I have to go. I have plans so I might have to use a blow dryer in between some of these steps which I will show you for when you're in a rush but normally I sit here in this for hours. I sit in my heatless curls for hours and I don't use any heat. I'm gonna go ahead and eat some lunch before throwing on my makeup, but I do wanna put my skincare on because I think this is a really important part of humidity proof, sweat proof kind of makeup. You need to give your skincare and your SPF, whatever kind of skincare you're putting on your face, time to sink into the skin because throwing your skincare on and then swiping makeup right on top of it, it kind of just like doesn't settle as well. So if you can just add as much time in between your steps, your skin will absorb what it needs to and it won't leave as much kind of product on your skin. I'm gonna put sunscreen on, but before that I like to use this Peach and Lily. I don't like this over top makeup, but I do like this in my skincare routine. So I'm just gonna use this to rehydrate my skin. Give her a couple seconds to just not totally dry, but like sink in a bit. I'm gonna use my Maraud and this is it. This is my skincare routine. I wash my face in the shower with my fresh soy face cleanser, put on my Shiseido serum, a little bit of that mist you saw me to supply and an eye cream and that's it. And like I said before, sometimes less is just so much better do that annoying thing where I put sunscreen on my chest because I like to take care of my skin. I just like love this little dress, dressing dress. I call it my, my dressing dress. It sounds stupid, but it's like my dress that I throw on after the shower. And I'm like not ready to put my clothes on, but I just wanna throw something on. Juice up my under eyes. And I've been really liking this Ule Henriksen Banana Bright. I really haven't used that much of it. I find that the less of this you use, the better. Otherwise it like irritates my skin, but I like how juicy it makes my under eyes and how it kind of corrects the darkness. I end up using less concealer, which I'm all about less makeup in general, but I'm really about less makeup in the summer when it's hot and humid and I just feel miserable. And I've really been liking this Laneige lip sleeping mask. I'm back on it. So I'm just gonna throw this on my lips. Simple, quick, easy, effective, comfortable. Great for those of you with dry and extremely sensitive skin because my skin is so sensitive. Like, can you see how red she is? She's just red all the time. I love makeup, but let me tell you, when it is a bajillion degrees outside, I don't. I just, I don't wanna wear it. So I'm taking my NYX Bear With Me Concealer. I'm running really low on her Shea Vanilla. I'm gonna take one pump, Farah H20FF. What's the right amount of product on my face? So I pick it up on the brush and then I work it in. Basically I'm using this as concealer, but I'm also using this as foundation. This is the only kind of base I'm gonna use, if that makes sense. Less layers of makeup you have, the better in terms of comfortability outside, in terms of your makeup lasting. It's not about shellacking the face with makeup, it's about layering it correctly and using more powders. When I think summer, I think like juicy, creamy makeup, but in reality, that's not what lasts. So I'm kind of just, focusing it in the center of my face and then like fanning it out. This has been the makeup I've been doing ever since the humidity has just gotten out of hand in my opinion. I still love my OG contour stick, but I have moved on to this just because, I don't know, I was playing around. I was like, ooh, she's almost over. Kind of want to finish her, but I'm going to use this to contour my face. And I'm sorry, I'm looking straight ahead in a mirror because I do want, oh, I got an itch. I do want my makeup to look nice today. When you look straight on in a mirror, they tend to come out a little bit more symmetrical. And then I'm going to contour my lips a little bit. Where did we go last night for dinner? I honestly don't remember the name, but we tried this new restaurant that opened a little while ago. I think they said they've been open for like five weeks. Del Porto Restaurante. It was a restaurant featured in The Sopranos. Oh my God. The food was really good. The service was good, but it was like 
they were too attentive. Like, you know, when you have like a bunch of people come and ask you like several times how the food is and how you're liking it, it was like that on steroids. Like literally there was a rotation of like four people who every time we got a drink or every time we got food would ask us how it is. And it's like, it's nice to ask, but I'm sitting here like wanting to enjoy my date night with my husband and like talk to him. So it's like, they kept coming over and asking, which again, I appreciate, but kind of just want to eat my meal and enjoy the conversation that I'm having and not be interrupted every five minutes. Is that bitchy? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. They ended up giving us a big ass glass of wine for free. The wine there was so good. And they also gave us free pistachio gelato. So good. And if you know me, you know the way to my heart is freebies because what do I say? If it's free, honey, it's for me. I mean, they clearly wanted me to give them a review on Google, which I have to do. I'm gonna do that later because they did ask me to give them one at the end of the, the day um, and they deserve it. I'm just perfecting as I always do. I like to take what's ever left over from my concealer brush and kind of just clean up around the contour. My hair doesn't want to stay in this turban. Do you see what's happening? Oh God. Whenever I do take this off, I do kind of like zhuzh the hair because I find that like it kind of gets a little flat. I'm going to use my Morphe M0 brush. This is my favorite powder brush. And first I'm going to take all of the makeup out of my creases pick up a little bit of powder and I'm going to press this into the skin to just lightly set before we bake because I am gonna bake and I just think that like baking is really the answer to all of our long lasting makeup prayers, you know? Now I'm taking a little wedge here and I'm going to kind of like reinforce the nose, also bake under the eye like that. I really hate like when this gets oily, I just feel like I, I look sweaty. So anywhere where you don't like to get shiny or you don't like to look oily, put a little bit. Despite what you may see online, like I feel like, you know, when we watch makeup tutorials and like short form content, you see people like throw this on and then wipe it off right away. You need to let the bake do the baking. If you don't know anything about baking, basically it's when you let the powder sit on your face like this and then the warmth of your skin kind of heats up underneath that powder and it's like baking. Like it's like an oven. You're letting the powder bake into your skin. So you should leave this on for good like I'd say at least five minutes, 10 minutes. The more time you have, again, the better. Just let it sit. I'm going to use powder bronzer and powder blush and y'all know I am a cream blush pour, but not in this heat. So I'm using a NARS Laguna and I love this hourglass. Oh, I love this brush. I'm so glad that I bought it. It's expensive, but it's worth it. I'm going to use the bigger side. So I'm setting the bronzer or the contour, whatever you want to refer to that stick that we used. I'm setting it so that throughout the day, my makeup doesn't move. And you know, I hate an oily hairline. So I'm putting some of this powder in the hair. Just like, don't be afraid. It's okay. I'll put a little on the brow bone, down the nose, just, you know, to just set it so that it lasts longer. Dolce Vita, I'm going to use the smaller side and I'm going to pat this to the apples of my cheeks and into the brow bone just because I feel like it looks really sweet. Look at that. Mm, it's so good. And I use a heavy hand with blush boy, but you know, I find that like blush doesn't last unless you like really pack it on. I want to look cute and I want to like go the extra mile without going the extra mile. So I'm going to use my Tati Beauty palette. You can take whatever kind of glitter you have. I'm going to take this one. I don't know if you have this palette. It is discontinued. I'm sorry, but I'm going to take Aura. You know what? No, I'm going to curl my lashes first. What am I doing? I find like sometimes when I record videos, <laughs> I get like very lost and sometimes I forget what I'm doing or I forget like this steps that I naturally do. So anywho, I'm curling my lashes with my Tweezerman eyelash curler just so that I don't have to curl them once I have the, the glitter on because the glitter might flake and get on my face. So I just zhuzh them. Okay, I'm gonna pick up this glitter. Miss my finger. This will help prevent fallout on the face. Now lean back as Fat Joe would say. Apply it with this finger and then I'm gonna use a different finger and just blend it out. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't set the lid. It's okay. What are you gonna do? But look how pretty that is. All right, I'm gonna set the inner lid real quick, just right here. It's okay. Um, let's, let's set this eye. Take the creases out, take a little bit of Laura Mercier on that brush. This is what I should have done. So much better. Sigh. <laughs> like I love a glitter moment. It's just so fun and so easy. My Lancome Lash Idol, not Lash, 
lash. And I'm probably gonna cry today because I'm gonna go see my mom, but it's okay. I'm just gonna be daring. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a little bit on my lower lashes. Oh my God, yesterday when Mike and I went for a walk, saw this Dodge Ram, which my dad owned a Dodge Ram and he was like so in love and obsessed with his pickup truck. But I saw this like Dodge Ram coming down the road like towards us. And oh my God, I got so emotional because, and I don't wanna get emotional right now. Why do I do this after I just put mascara on? But I just like envisioned my dad driving down the road saying hi. And it just like really upset me that that will never happen. <laughs> and it's not funny, it's sad. Um, I was very upset. And then I started crying underneath my glasses, but I didn't wanna talk about it. So I didn't mention it. So Mike doesn't even know that I was hysterical on the walk yesterday. Um, but hi, you do. I'm so weird, like I'm so bad at like talking about my feelings and I'm so bad at like crying in front of people and I don't want to. Maybe I should work on that, I don't know. Anywho, not today, it's for a different day. Yesterday, oh honey, I dabbled into this, the Sephora Outrageous Intense lip gloss and it is a lip plumping gloss that literally puts your lips on fire. I've never in my life tried a gloss so ouchy in my entire life and I've tried several of them. I put it on and it hurts so bad and I was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna throw this out. But let me tell you something. I looked in the mirror and holy God, my lips were huge. And I was like, oh my God, I cannot throw this out because despite my pain, it's just so beautiful. I wanna try this. I got this lip liner. I don't even know what this is. Lip Stroke Mini CTZN Cosmetics. Lip liner crayon, I don't know. In the shade Char. Let's try it, I don't know. It's like a little retractable lip liner. It's super cute. It would fit really beautifully in my little Louis Vuitton pouchette that I keep. Oh, that's a nice color. <gasps> not to judge a book by its cover because I say that all the time, but I, when I first opened this, I looked at this color and I was like, I don't like this color, but oh my God, it's a little too creamy. That's a good color though, holy shit. I'm just gonna take a clean fluffy brush, fluff it up towards the nose and then fluff it away from the eyes. And then I'm gonna take what's ever left over, kind of like clean up underneath. I like to take what's ever left over and pat it over my nose because I don't like a floofy nose, a floofy nose. I don't like a shiny nose. Why not torture ourselves? I might as well. Oh, it's gonna hurt, but it's gonna look so good. Long lasting setting spray. This is my favorite, Milani. Fan. Mm. This has been my favorite brow gel and it's like literally $3. The Essence Make Me Brow in Brass, brownie brows? Soft brownie brows. It's like a little bit, just a little bit. I feel like my brows are in a pretty good spot. I don't know. My hair is like 75% dry. So I'm just gonna gently comb it out. All right, this is a terrible angle, but it is what it is. I'm using my UV protectant, heat protectant spray. I spray one spritz and then I focus it on the ends. I'm just gonna water my hair a little bit. All right, blow dry my hair, threw on some clothes. I'm gonna take this gel. You can use any gel. This is the gel I like. It's Rich Kids Coconut Oil Gel. That much. The gel will just help, you know, to reinforce and keep the shape. I like to brush the gel through real quick. My heatless thing. I will link this down below. I'm gonna put this on the shop on my head like this. And then <laughs> take my glippy clip. That's hard to open like this. It's kind of like French braiding. So I take a little comb like this and I wrap it around another section. And then I find that like the combing, this is hard to do while speaking. Um, the combing helps to keep the hair less frizzy. just wrapping it around. Close the bottom, just like wrapped around. All right, let's do the other side quickly. This is what the crazy lady looks like. Um, and if you're in a rush, you could just take a blow dryer. Yes, I'll have you know that I look like this. I just went to the UPS store and how many Fs do I give? 
zero, multitasking. It's a part of a hot mess life. Sometimes you just gotta go with it, right? All right, off to moms. I don't really think my hair is dry enough for this. It could definitely sit in this a lot longer, but here we are. I'm just gonna undo these things like so. Pull this out and I'm gonna leave it kind of like swiveled like this, but I don't brush them out right away. I kind of let them settle. So I'm gonna continue to let them dry like this, go pick up my new watch at Apple before they close and maybe get some Froyo. Yo, I ran, ran, sprinted. I sprinted through the mall. So I'm a fat ass. That's not nice, I shouldn't say that about myself, but I really wanted this Froyo and I got here at like 5.35. I went to the Apple store. They brought me out what I ordered, but I ordered the incorrect watch and thank God that I asked if it was gold because it was not, it was stainless steel and I wanted the gold one. That was the whole purpose of me buying a new watch. Um, so then, sorry, the air conditioner is kicking in here. I am sweating. So I had to wait for them to go back, which is my fault, so I didn't mind waiting, but I had to wait for them to go back to get the right watch gold one which thank god they had it in stock i had five minutes before 40 carats closed and the woman that works at the 40 carats in the short hills mall is amazing i love her she's so nice she's always there and she was so kind because i showed up at 5 59 after sprinting through the mall and she's like honey what do you want no need to rush i got you i wanted coffee and plane but the plane wasn't working so i couldn't have exactly what i wanted but it's okay because you get what you get and you don't get upset. So I just got coffee and it's so freaking good and she fills it to the brim. I'm happy as a clam right now. This is something that I do either if it's still in the coil thing or out, it really depends on my mood. Um, but since it's already out, I'm gonna do it this way. So I just reinforce the outwards curl with my finger. Tresemme, it's called extra firm holds, but I don't, it doesn't make my hair crunchy, so I don't mind it. Shoot it with a little bit of that. I want to hit my move ring. I'm in a 25 day streak, but this one's like setting up. So I have them both on. This is my new one. And honestly, I don't love it as much as I thought I was going to love it. I'm just going to leave my hair like this for as long as possible. And then I'll brush it out with you guys. But Mike and I are going to go pick up Chinese food. Not like the best showing of what I eat in a day for you guys. Normally I would not eat Chinese food, but it is what it is. And I don't know, we have no food and I'm starving. Chicken and broccoli and all of our friends. Sniff, sniff. What do you got? Mm, I'm gonna pretend like I want it, but I'm not really gonna want it once you give it to me. But I know another friend who really wants it. She wants it bad. So like I said, I'm gonna show you guys my macros today, which I did a pretty decent job. 48% of carbs, 27% fat, and 25% protein. However, like today wasn't the healthiest eating for me. I still have a lot of calories left. I have 600 calories left for the day, but I just, I wasn't really mindful with the eating. Normally I eat a little bit better. I don't have Chinese food and I don't go get froyo, but it's Sunday and like, honestly on the weekends, I slack, but my main concern is really this chart and making sure that I'm not eating too much fat and not enough protein and not enough carbs. So I didn't eat super, super great today. However, it was within my macros. I also had made fun noodles. I don't know if I showed you guys them. I didn't really eat breakfast this morning. I did a, I, I did a bad job of eating. Um, so if you wanna see like a better what I eat in a day, let me know. So this is my new watch. It's not very gold, but you know, I do agree. Mike said that it looks way more mature and like sophisticated than my pink watch, but I don't know, just the pink watch is like really comfortable. I'm just, I think I, I don't know. What do you think? What do we think? What do we think? I mean, it definitely goes better with like my vibe of like the jewelry. Do you know what I'm saying? Whereas I feel like this stands out a little bit more. I just, I thought that this would look nicer than it's looking for some reason. Maybe I just need to get used to it. I don't know, but let me know your thoughts. I'm just brushing the top. I'm not brushing the curls out. Split my hair again, twisty on one side. Wrap it like that, kind of like a crappy Princess Leia bun. Take a clippy thing of the side. And now I'm taking it off of my hair and I'm just gonna clip these two together. This, oh no, no! It doesn't 
need to be perfect. It just needs to be mostly wrapped. Ow. Talk, talk. And then I go in here and I take the clip out. My hair is like in the floppy part back there. All right, guys, this was fun. Let me know if you want to see more of like my health journey, more of like what I eat in a day. Let me know, um, cause I did a terrible job of that. It wasn't like an ideal eating day. My mental health is feeling good. I'm just, I'm feeling so much better lately. I didn't mention this, but I've been doing Sydney Cummings for summertime fine. You guys know I love Sydney. I've done her YouTube videos for years and years and years at this point, but her summertime fine program always gets me in like such good shape. It's been a good motivation for me because it takes the guessing work out of the workouts that I'm doing every day. I kind of just open YouTube on my iPad and hit the next video in the sequence of, I think she said it's 65 videos in the summertime fine challenge. So if you want to hear more, let me know, but genuinely let me know whether you do or you don't want to hear because I really don't want to bother filming things that you're not interested in. So let me know what you're interested in. I love you so much. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me and I really hope to see you in my next one. Oh, good morning. I hate Mondays, but I'm trying to be positive. And I know I said good night last night, but I didn't show you how I brush out my hair and I can't see because I don't have my contacts in or my glasses on. And I'm concerned because I've been working out every single day. And this is the first week in a month and a half that I have plans after work on Tuesday and Thursday. So I just, I can't get up in the morning. It's not, I don't know, to go to work. There's no will in me to get up, you know? All right, let's take this off together. So you could see my hair stayed in those two little twisties. I kind of just like separate them gently with my hands. I honestly like don't even need to comb this. It's stayed pretty well. There she is, ladies and gents. I mean, hey, it's not bad. I think it comes out better when you don't use heat at all. So just give yourself a, a big block of time, like on a day where you're working from home or you have nothing to do, or you're just gonna be home, like, you know, doing chores all day, cleaning, that kind of stuff, um, dedicate it to your hair. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so very much. And I really hope that you try my heatless curls and I hope that you come back and watch my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.